Hi everybody, welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. So this is the Tuesday edition of Coffee with Kim. And those of you that watch me regularly, I promised you I would have on this shirt today. So, a couple things. It is not finished 100%. I am still tethered to the yarn ball. Um, I've got about 10 more rows to go on it. If I were a younger person, maybe 30 years younger, it could be finished. But right now, no. The reason it's taking me so long is a few things. One, I do not like this yarn. Again, I got it at a thrift store. So I have no idea what kind it is. It's super soft, which I love, but it's a mess. It's in one of those, it's not even really a ball, it's a clump. So you can't really pull from the center. You can't do the outside. It's just one of those balls of yarn that is always tangled. So that's going to go in my yarn barf bucket. And if you guys check out my community tab, that ball of yarn is what prompted my um, cartoon for today. So, and the re second reason it's not done is I ended up towing my camper yesterday. And why is that a big deal? Well, because it is the first time start to finish I did it myself. So. The camper has been parked here next to the house. And normally, excuse me, Mr. Fortunate will help me hook it up, you know, make sure everything's right, get the hitch. I mean, because it's heavy. So yesterday, I don't know what got into me. Who knows? I just all of a sudden said, I hopped up from my chair and I'm like, I'm going to go hook up that camper. So takes me a minute to back it up onto the hitch. So I go back and forth thank goodness for my backup camera because uh without that who knows so i have the backup camera and i get on the hitch okay so those of you that have not towed before just pretend this is right here the point right here is where the hitch is okay so underneath it there's a a jack that you can crank up so i crank that as low as it'll go but it's sitting on a block, a brick, I believe. Yeah, it was sitting on a brick that was too high, so I couldn't get it any lower. So I had to go to the wood pile, get two 16-inch pieces of wood, and now all the pressure is here on the point, but I have to put one piece of wood on each one of the brackets so that because if I just do one, it's going to tip, right? So I get two pieces of wood, and then I crank it back up again so that the hitch is here. I take out that brick and I put in a really thin board. Okay, so then I bring it down, take out these, and now I can lower it all the way down on the hitch. That was one thing I was really proud of myself for figuring out because I, you know, normally I just see the hitch go down, hook it up, blah, blah, blah. So I get that all done. And I get the. You have to crisscross the chains underneath and then there's this trip wire that you clip on extra safety measure well now it comes time to plug it in so the power so that the lights on the camper work while i'm towing so i pick it up and i'm like hmm so on the end of the camper plug there's a big round seven prong thing and on my tow vehicle is a very thin four prong. Well, I know math genius, <clears throat> but I know that's not going to work. So I start thinking, okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm surrounded by, excuse me, I'm surrounded by neighbors that tow stuff all the time. I mean, mechanic, race car driver, mechanic and race car driver. So I'm surrounded. So I start making the phone calls. Nobody's home. 
on any other day, everybody would be home. But when I need them, nobody's home. So, okay, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. So I call Mr. Fortunate at work, which I was trying not to do because he's working and I don't want to bother him. And I'm like, okay, here's the deal, blah, blah, blah. Because when we towed the camper home, we used his truck and he had the right, right plug. So he's Googling while I'm looking this and that. So I actually, he says, all right, let me keep looking and you call these few places. So I called the RV place where I bought the thing. And she was like, well, you have to come in and get a whole new this put on and da, 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 da. And I'm like, okay. I said, the kicker is, can you do it today? Because I have to tow tomorrow. Well, no, we're shorthanded because of training. Okay. Never mind. So I called other RV dealers. They had the part. So I was about to get dressed and go down there. And then um, my one neighbor called me back in the meantime, and I told him what was going on. He's like, well, you just need an adapter, and I think I have one in my garage. So he goes and looks. Next thing I know, he's in my driveway looking at the, the hitch and stuff. And he's like, oh, I have the opposite of what you need. Of course. <clears throat> That's how my world goes, right? So he's like, you need to go to one of the auto parts store in town and see if they have the opposite of this adapter. Okay. So the opposite of this adapter. Um, okay. You might have just heard Mr. Fortunate cough. Sorry. Um, he is home working today. Anyway. So I, I called one auto parts place and I got the un, un invest, uninvested, uninvested employee. She answers the phone chewing gum, strike one, um, which I like gum, but you don't gnaw on it while you're answering the phone. So she answers the phone chewing gum and I, told her what I needed. And what did she say? Well, you're going to have to come in and look. I don't know. Okay. Thanks. Bye. So I call the other auto parts in store and the guy answers and he's like, all right, well, let me check. What do you need? This and that. So he comes back in two seconds. He's like, absolutely. Got it right here. I said, can you please hold it for me? I'll be right down. Mind you, I have already hooked up the camper. So I have to go unhook the camper, drive to the auto parts store. He had the wrong one. He had the same one that my neighbor had sitting at the thing. So we had the wrong one. And I said, I need the opposite of that. And the one guy over here is like, well, what do you mean the opposite? I'm like, I don't know the opposite. I, I know exactly the words that my neighbor told me to tell you is he said, hand you this and say, I need the opposite. That's all I got. So, <laughs> The other guy, he, we got it. We got it. Don't worry. So long story short, too late. I'm sorry. I get home. I plug it in, plug it in. Golden. Now I have to check the lights by myself. I'm here alone, me and Fritz, but he can't help. So I'm like, how am I going to press the brake pedal and go back and look? Because obviously you lift your foot to get out. So I took a box, huh, took a box. I laid it on the brake pedal. I am so sorry. I don't know why I'm here. I laid it on the brake pedal and I took the driver's seat and I pushed it forward as far as it would go until it depressed the brake pedal. All right. So I run around back. Lights are working. I did each blinker. I did the four ways. Everything's fine. So I called Mr. Fortunate to tell him just in case you were going out at lunch to try to find this adapter. I don't need you to because I found it. And he goes, so when you're towing and I'm like, you know what? Cause I wasn't supposed to tow till today. I said, you know what? I'm all hooked up. I'm going to go. So I hopped in my car off. I drove back out to the farm and, um, sorry. So I hop in the car, I drive all the way back out an hour West. And then I spent the whole day, let me see if I could show you a picture. Spent the whole day setting it up with my brother 
because he had just gotten gravel and laid it down. So there we go. Our campers are up and ready to let the summer begin. So there's my camper. And then, of course, I had to get it all set up. I had to put my swing in front of it. Then my brother and I sat down and hung out for a few minutes. And so anyway, about three hours later, I came home. So that's another reason why this shirt is not completely finished. But I just found this tank top in my closet and it goes perfect. So I'm thinking this is going to be the outfit. And it is a little chilly in here. Because it is early morning and it is a little chilly. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe I should just take this off. Because you're going to see the, the clip on it. So I feel like I'm tethered to, you know how when you're in the hospital and they let you walk around but you got your IV bag? <laughs> that's what I feel like. But yeah, so that's how far I got on that. It should be finished today, but I, I'm not going anywhere. So it should be finished today. So what else? Oh, so don't forget tonight is a live. Look at me all disheveled. Tonight is a live for at 7.30. Um, and we're going to do our quill along. Quill along. Not easy to say. There we go. Um, so we're going to do that. Plus, I'm starting a series of five videos that are crafts for Mo Mother's Day. So what I'm doing is I'm looking through, you know how I always buy the craft books. So I'm looking through all of my craft books for five easy crafts made with stuff you probably have right around the house or you can get quickly. So I'm going to do that and uh, make videos of it. So you can do the crafts with your kiddos, make one for grandma, make one for, you know, whoever the mom is in your world. So I got that. I've got one done. But of course, I'm fighting with my editing program. It is what it is. <laughs> so that's happening. Uh, let's see, live tonight, live tomorrow for the book club. So that'll be the last one for the book thief. And then we're going to pick our May book. And um, I'm going to give us all little like stars and rewards as far as um, how many books we've read. I'm going to do a whole thing. So that's, that's happening. I'm also going to give away that poncho tonight at the um, Quill Along. And I'm going to give away a quilling set. It's not going to be all in one package. It's going to be one that I make up <clears throat> from all of the stuff I have. Excuse me. Um, so that'll be fun. So hopefully, even if you don't have a quilling set, hopefully you come on, check it out. Because if you are there and you are engaged in talking or whatever, um, you will be entered in the drawing for the quilling set. So maybe if you like what you see, you win the set. And there you go. Um, I am up to four members. I'm really excited. Four members to the channel. Thank you very much. Um, you guys are awesome. It's really fun. I already put up, um, scheduled for tomorrow, starting tomorrow, May 1st, is going to be members only cartoon strips. So every day I'm going to do some sort of cartoon and it'll be for members only. If you like it, you can feel free to screenshot, whatever, copy, whatever. So that'll be really fun. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, now my brain's going because I'm looking over here and I'm like, wait, I could make in this book they have, where is it? They have keepsake boxes. And with the kiddos, you could make a keepsake box with those popsicle sticks. Ooh. So you can make it stroll through the woods or even your backyard is all you need to gather the materials for these stunning containers. And it's pine cones and sticks and stuff like that. That's going to be next. So um, they also have ways, you know, you can decorate 
things that you already have, like a lampshade, how you can fancy that up with flowers or, you know, how you can make a ball of rock. Oh, that's kind of cool. A ball of rocks or anything like that. So I'm going to look through here and find five different projects that you can make for the person who's celebrating Mother's Day. Oh, check this out. You can make a snow globe. That's cute. So cute stuff. <clears throat> Easy stuff that you can do um, with the kids for mom. And even some of them are, you know, that's pretty cute. Super simple and pretty cute. Looks like it's a coaster with a candle and some seashells, which I happen to have all of that. So there we go. So those videos will be coming out. Um, once I get more subscribers, videos like that will be for subscribers only, I think, um, for your perks. So exciting. <laughs> so um, those of you that are other content creators, you know that there's two levels. Um, for your YouTube channel. I'm at the low level right now and I only need about 300 view hours to hit the full on level. So working on that as well. So if you want to throw me up in the background and just let me keep running, you can even turn the sound down, <laughs> which, you know, I get it. I get it. So I told everybody, I said, I am not lifting, pushing, pulling, cutting, digging, anything today. I am doing crafting, maybe laundry, nothing heavy because my body is like, are you kidding me? Because the day before was the chainsaw and the moving of the logs and the mowing of the lawn. And then yesterday was legit like I was on the chain gang in prison. I was shoveling rocks and raking rocks and moving rocks and of course, I had to go into my little, my new shed over at the farm and I had to bling it up a little bit. So I had that contact paper, the sticky side. So there's a shelf in there and a cabinet in there. So I lined them both with the, the paper and then um, little shot glasses I've been collecting. So inside that one cabinet, the door opens and there's shelves. So I lined up all of them in there. It looks really cute. And I hung up a couple signs. Um, one says, welcome-ish. It depends on who you are and how long you stay. And the other one says, uh, welcome to paradise where it's always happy hour. And then I took some old um, patio furniture cushions that I had. You know, they're not the best ones but they're perfect for in there. So they're all blue. I do have a picture. Let me see if, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, so there are the glasses lined up on the wall. I'm going to paint the inside of that. I just, and here's my first, when I first set the cushions down. So since then I've made the middle match. I made it higher. And then I'm going to tack them all down. So it's a little bit fun. Um, hold right there. So there's the one sign that says, Welcome to Paradise. So there we go. It's uh, really fun. Ooh. <laughs> so today is catching up on all the crafting things, finishing that shirt, getting ready for the quilling thing tonight. I'm really excited. I got, I'll show you tonight. It's all about quilling tonight, so I'll show you some fun stuff I got. But in the meantime, I'm going to get myself going. I'm going to finish my cup of coffee, then I'm going to finish my shirt and uh, get ready for tonight. I hope you can join me. 7.30, same time, same station. <laughs> Until then, remember, be happy, be kind, and be creative. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.